Welcome back everyone. In this video, our goal is to demonstrate how to use the change component size tool. Now let me paint a picture for you all. Let's say you're a new designer, you've learned how to use the landscape tools here a little bit. You have sculpted yourself a gorgeous, gorgeous landscape filled with mountains, lakes, etc. Then you jump into play your game and your game is running at about 20 frames per second. A lot of stuttering going on. You've just spent all that time crafting a beautiful landscape and now your game's frame rate is just not keeping up. What can you do? Do you start from scratch? Well, that's one approach or maybe, maybe before you do that, you can look to use this change component size tool to resize some of your landscape components to make it run more performant. There is such a tool. So where does this tool exist? Well, it is in our landscape tab. Under that, we've got manage. And along our left-hand side, in our list of tools, here it is, our change component size tool. I'm currently in my map sculpting level. And you can see that once I change on over to the change component size tool, I've got access to some of these parameters that we had when we initially created a landscape. Things such as section size, sections per component, those look familiar. Those are the same things that we kind of saw under the new creation of a landscape. There's our section size and section per components. Now to kind of demonstrate how this tool works, I'm gonna create a brand new landscape. And in fact, I'm gonna create a brand new map. So I'm gonna come under my file, new level, and I will create a default level here just so I've got a sky out there. And then I'm gonna select my floor here. We're gonna delete that out. And let's go ahead and create a brand new landscape. So I'm gonna jump on over to my landscape tab up here. Um, I'm not going to worry about enabling edit layers because this is just for demonstration purposes here and we're not going to be doing any painting or anything. So having this material as M ground grass located here in our start content, that's going to be just fine. And I'm going to leave these default settings here as well. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and click create and give that a moment and of course my brush size is ginormous here so let me turn that on down and before i do anything else here let me just quickly save my map in case any funny business happens so i'm going to click under save current we're going to come under landscapes maps and i will just simply call this map change component size and save now, there are a couple things I want to do with this landscape just to give ourselves a baseline before we start fiddling with some of the component sizing and whatnot. I'm going to come under my Sculpt tab here under Landscape Mode, and instead of my Sculpt tool, I'm going to change over to the Noise tool, and then I'm going to ramp up my brush size here. I'm going to punch in a value of 70,000, and if I hit enter, it's going to cap it at 65,000 and change there. Essentially, it's made my brush size huge here, and I'm just zooming on back here. The reason being is I want to make one click here in the middle of my landscape just to add some rough undulations to my map. Uh, I'm going to have the tool strength at point 0.1, noise mode of add, everything else here is fine. And here we go, just one click right in the middle of my landscape. There we go, we added some noise. And with that, I'm going to reduce my brush size greatly so you don't see that big white spotlight there. And I'm also going to jump out of my landscape mode really quickly here, go back into my placement mode. And I wanna find my player start actor. I'm gonna select this guy, tap the F key. It's currently located underneath my world. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key while I left click and drag this on up above. And then I'm gonna tap the end, E-N-D key, that's the one right next to the delete key, to snap it on down to the ground, and it snaps somewhere down there, so let me just tap the F key to frame up on it. So there I am. Now let's get a baseline as to what my current frame rate is. Now this computer is about three and a half years old, 
So it should run Unreal 4 just fine. My frame rate should be pretty good here. I don't have anything complex out in my landscape. So here I am. I'm just going to jump in and play. And once I am in here, I can hit the tilde key. This is the one right next to the one key on your keyboard. And that just brought in this little console command line at the very bottom of my play window. If I type in stat FPS, that will show me my current frame rate up there in the upper right. And you can see, let me just hit shift and F1 to gain control of my mouse cursor. Now you can see up there, I'm running at about 120 frames per second once I full screened it there. When I zoom in on down here, I get that back down to about you know 40 frames per second because I'm rendering this as well as all that in the background there. So let me just full screen this and you can see we're at a nice 120 frames per second, which is pretty good. All right, just gonna exit out of here. And now let's jump back into our landscape edit mode here. Let's come under our Manage tab here, and let's go ahead and find our Change Component Size tool, and let's fiddle around with this a little bit, shall we? Now, what you're essentially doing when you're dealing with this tool is you're changing the amount of each of the various squares that make up your landscape are. Uh, I'm talking quads, sections, components, and just as a quick reminder as to what all these different things are, I'm gonna bring on this visual here. And you can see that I've got a little bit of a chart here to help describe what each of these different things are. And this is a little bit of a review. Now you may remember that when you create a landscape, you get to define something called the number of components. Now, if this is our landscape creation preview here, and uh, we have a number of components as eight by eight, these components are these larger squares right here that I'm kind of mousing over. So you can see I've got eight across here and eight across here. That number is editable. For each component, you can determine a sections per component. That is what you see in this little waffle outline right here in yellow. Currently in this particular image, my sections per component are two by two. You can set that to be two by two or one by one. And for any of these sections, you can determine a section size. That are these really tiny squares that make up each of these different sections. And here I've got a little cross section here showing that one of these tiny squares is made up of seven by seven. Now, what do all these things do underneath the hood? Well, they deal with landscape LODing and culling. And if you want a little nighttime reading, I'm gonna point you to the landscape technical guide. Here is the web address for that landscape technical guide. This is the official Unreal Engine 4 documentation. You can learn a little bit more about the technical ramifications for your decisions. All right, now let me jump back into Unreal here. Let's start fiddling with some of these properties, shall we? Now, actually, before I do that, I should explain what this resize mode is here. This was not present when we created a landscape. Now, when we go ahead and change our component sizing here, which we'll do in a little bit, you've got this resize mode, and you've got three options here, expand, clip, or resample. So if you choose expand, it's going to round up the number of components to try to best match our current landscape size here. Now the landscape might get a little bit bigger, but by and large, it's gonna try staying the same size. So expand tries to keep the current landscape uh, number of components the same, but it might scale up a little bit. Now clip is the opposite of that. It's going to round down the number of components to best match our current landscape size, but the landscape might get a wee bit smaller. Now, if you don't want it to get a wee bit bigger or a wee bit smaller, instead of choosing expand or clip, you could choose resample. Resample means the landscape is gonna have the same overall size and components as before, but your resolution here may change. All right, so without further ado, let's try messing with a few examples. 
Shall we here? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change our section size here to be not 63 by 63, but 7 by 7. And I'm going to choose to expand this. Now you can see that when I've set this as such, we're changing our number of components quite dramatically from 8 by 8, a total of 64, to now 5,184. In general, the fewer the components you have, the better, the more performant your landscape will be. So I'm going to click apply here. And actually, let me zoom on out. And let's see if our landscape does, in fact, get a slight bit bigger when we do this. Okay, now I'll click and apply. And this may take a little bit of time for these changes to take place. All right, we, you saw a, a little bit of a subtle shift here. Now I'm going to click on my player start actor here a couple times. Just double click on it. Let's jump in and play right now. And you can see my frame rate's looking a little bit lower there, at least from this perspective. Let me do Shift plus F1. I'm going to full screen this. And now you can see, whereas my frame rate was up to 120 frames before, now we're down to 80, sometimes 60. So you saw that that was not a positive shift. The more components that we had, the worse our performance is. All right, so let's try changing this now. I'm going to change my section size now to be... 255 by 255 quads and you can see my number of components is being dropped from 72 by 72 to 2 by 2 that is a drastic change from over 5,000 down to 4 let me go ahead and click apply here I do want to keep resize mode to expand give that a moment to calculate here you saw a little shift in the landscape there as well I'm gonna double click on my player start Make sure it looks all well and good now. Let's go ahead and play. And I'm going to do Shift and F1 here to gain control of my mouse. Full screen it, and you can see our performance is now back again at a robust 120 frames per second, which is fairly nice indeed. And again, that's because we reduced our number of components rather significantly. Again, the fewer components that you have, by and large, the better your performance is going to be. Now, something else to keep in mind as you fiddle with some of these different settings here is it's not just the number of components that you want to be worried about as well. Depending on how you change some of these things, and I'm just going to change my resize mode here to say resample, and let's go, let's do two by two sections. As you, you see that as I change that to two by two resample, my overall resolution here is going up a little bit as well. So in addition to components, you should concern yourself a little bit with resolution as well. One other good to know that you're going to want to keep in mind if you're using this change component size tool. Anytime you apply some, you actually apply some different settings here, you're going to actually change the name of your landscape actor over here in your world outliner. This started off being called just landscape, and then the first time we changed it, it changed its name to landscape one, and then we applied some more changes. It is now called landscape too so if you got multiple landscapes out here uh, that can get a little confusing and a lot of people kind of get hung up on that like wait what happened there uh, renaming change what now just know about that okay so if all this is way too confusing and you're just like I just want to know what is a good size to make my landscape well I'm gonna point you back to the Unreal Engine for documentation once again, and in this doc that I just pointed to earlier, they have recommended landscape sizes. Now, these have proven to be fairly performant, so go ahead and try out some of these, and your game should run just fine. Now, again, results may vary depending on how powerful your computer is, but anything, any desktop computer of any sort of quality within the last few years, you should be just fine. All right, there you have it, guys. That is the Change Component Size Tool. That'll do it all for this one. We will see you in the next one.